Hello, my dear friends. They say that when we're getting older, we're getting a little bit childish, more or less. And to be honest with myself and with you, I think it's correct. Uh, recently, I was thinking about my favorite uh, presents that I was receiving during the communist era we had here in Romania many years ago. I was a child then. And uh, the fav favorite presents for me were electronic kits that were uh, produced by the Soviet Union at that time. Um, every single birthday, every single holiday uh, for Christmas, uh, for Easter, for my birthday. For my parents, it was quite easy to find a present. They just bought a kit uh, with radio receiver or other uh, kind of electronic um, circuits to be built in kit form. Uh, there were several um, radios offered by the Soviet Union as kits for the boys. Uh, and I never had uh, an Electron M. I had several UNOS, uh, which means uh, youngster, uh, radio receivers, but never had an Electron M uh, radio kit when I was a child. Uh, I had a friend who received one as present for his birthday and I was assembling it. Uh, I remember that it was working very, very well. So over the years, I had that uh, nostalgic uh, image of this Electron M radio receiver. As you can see, it's a very simple radio receiver using germanium transistors. Um, three uh, transistors, three radio frequency transistors and uh, four audio frequency transistors uh, are used in this radio. They are Soviet uh, transistors, but they can we, you, you can use other uh, kind of germanium transistors. You can replace them without any problem, of course. So uh, during uh, a small vacation I just had, I was thinking, uh, I was curious to see if such radio could still work in the internet uh, era if uh, we still can receive anything with such radio. And um, as I found uh, at my workplace some old stock, uh, new old stock germanium transistors from the Soviet era, um, I just give it a try uh, and uh, reprodu reproduced this uh, circuit that you can see on the image. It's a very simple circuit. Um, I just reprodu reproduce it and uh, let's see how uh, it performs now um, after 30 years uh, that it was, uh, or maybe more, I don't know. Uh, I, I received it uh, in, in, the, in the years, uh, in the 80s, but maybe it was older, I don't know. Um, so 30, 40 years ago, they, they built that kit. Let's see if it's still working and, and if there are still radio uh, stations on the medium wave uh, to, be, to be received with, uh, with this uh, kit. So this is the kit assembled um, one of those days. Uh, I just... Uh, well, it's focusing somehow. So, uh, as you see, uh, the transistors, the Russian uh, classical uh, germanium transistors, um, quite big, uh, but working fine, no problem. The three in the front uh, uh, for the radio frequency amplifier and the four uh, on the audio frequency amplifier. Um, I'm having just a very uh, primitive uh, speaker. I had no time to uh, prepare a, a decent loudspeaker for this. Uh, the volume potentiometer, you see it there, and an air variable um, capacitor to see if we still can receive anything with this 
um, receiver. So let's turn on the power supply. It's powered on nine volts. So, uh, and let's see if we can pick anything. Well, yes, we can. That's one station. Well, Tina Turner. The best. Yes, yes, it is the best. <laughs> Quite a nice piece of tune uh, with good quality music on, on that AM. Um, that must be the Romanian National AM Broadcasting Station. Nice piece of music here too. Um, this should be Radio Cluj, uh, as far as I can, uh, I can see. And anything else? It's a direct amplification, not even a reaction radio, uh, not even a regenerative re uh, receiver. So uh, it 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 doesn't pick many stations. But those that he is picking it's, are quite okay. Well, that seems to be all. I just, I'm just glad to see that it still works. Uh, and uh, we still have uh, radio broadcast stations uh, on the medium waves uh, uh, at, this, uh, at this time. So, thank you for watching. If you have kids... Uh, it's a very good exercise for them to practice electronics. You still can find on eBay uh, Russian transistors or you can replace them with uh, transistors produced by your own country. Thanks again for watching. Wish you all the best from Romania 73.